Call me wild, call me impetuous, call me crazy, and I must be to come 7,000 miles and court a woman I know in all my life. But she is worth it. She is so beautiful. Santana, what is wrong with you? Uh, nothing. It certainly is. You're shaking. I'm fine, really. Mason, listen. Uh, do you want to go out of the hotel somewhere, take a drive, maybe uh, a walk, or uh, go to the beach or something? Sure. Will I... you tell me what's wrong? Nothing. I would just like to get some fresh air. Well, I have an idea. Why don't we check out some of Riviera's more famous casinos? Take a quick spin down to Monte Carlo. I don't think I'm up for that. Oh, sure you are. Come on, I'll stake you to a thousand dollars. No, I couldn't. Of course you can. Try the fast lane, Santana. It's guaranteed to cure the blues. I don't have the blues. Well, then, if you are not blue, may I suggest we paint the town red? Why not? <laughs> Good. Okay, give me a second. Take your time. <clears throat> oh, how are things going with uh, you and Gina? How do you mean? Well, haven't you asked her about decorating her house in Bel Air yet? Uh, no, not yet. I thought that we'd get uh, to know each other a little better first. Well, you two seem to have hit it off. Yes, yeah, she's very nice. Well, it's a great place to get to know somebody. <laughs> That is, if you speak English. Uh, I don't speak French. <laughs> well, I will be your interpreter. Well, am I fit to paint the champion? Wow. You knocked me out. Well, Mason, you're usually not at a loss for words. I could change into something else. I don't mean... you dare. Oh, I um, have a little something else for you. Oh, Mason, not another present. I couldn't. I insist. I betrayed, Cece. Oh, bull. Santana, look at me. Look at me. You know who you're looking at? You're looking at a man who adores you. You're also looking at a man who has really betrayed Cece Campwell. Yep, after all those years of scrambling around after him, sweating out his every whim, I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't let him run my life. That's not betraying him. Oh, when I told him I wasn't going to run for DA, I betrayed him, his hopes, his dreams. Do you know what? It's the best thing I ever did, because I did it for me. Well, I think maybe that's the right idea. Mm-hmm, and I think it's about time you did something for yourself. And maybe... You have to break away from C.C. Capwell in order to do it. Maybe. Maybe we can help each other. Mm-hmm. We'll make our own uh, declaration of independence. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for Santana Andrade and Mason Capwell to dissolve the bonds that have kept them in the clutches of C.C. Capwell, etc., etc., for these two people are more than deserving of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and it's about time both of them got happy. <laughs> I think so. I'm glad you're smiling. <laughs> I'm also glad I memorized the Declaration of Independence some years back. How can you eat more? Because I'm happy. When I'm happy, I eat. Or juggle. Champagne. Who sent champagne? Probably another secret admirer. To the toast of the town. Love, Mason. Mason... How sweet. When on earth did you get a chance to send me this? In between the pate and the mussel soup. Well, do you think it's a little early to be drinking champagne? Well, let's save it for tomorrow. Take a drive in the country and go on a picnic. I like that. You know, this trip has changed me somehow. It's done something to me. I think it's all for the better. <laughs> <laughs>